Bookies, and this is MSS Books and Bookies Good. We meet every lunchtime on Tuesdays to share our love of reading and books and eating chocolate biscuits. We are excited to be part of the Books Alive 2022 program. Hi, my name is Faith. We are here today to interview Rebecca Lip, who is the author of How Do I Feel, which is the finalist in the LC Book Award for Nonfiction section of New Zealand Book Award Awards for Children and Young Adults for 2022. Hi, my name is Mila. Rebecca is a social media manager, author, and entrepreneur who joined forces with multi award winner, winner author illustrator Craig Phillips to form the award winning team at Wildlife Books. Wildling. Wildling Books. <laughs> okay, so um, Emma, you want to ask your first question? Um, did you? Enjoy writing all of your books, and which was your favourite? Um, thanks. It was Emma, wasn't it? Thanks for the right. question. Um, uh, I did really enjoy uh, writing How Do I Feel? Um, it's very uh, a passion of mine to um, help kids learn about emotions and um, do that through the books that we write. I haven't written all the books, so Craig has written quite a lot of our books as well as illustrating them. He's pretty clever, that guy, um, uh, but we make a pretty good team. So um, I did enjoy writing How Do I Feel? Um, although some of the emotions that I was writing about did make me feel not so great <laughs> some of the emotions <laughs> because I had to really feel each emotion then I, when I was writing it and some of those emotions are a little bit uncomfortable so yeah um, how did you think of all of the films oh I had to do a, a lot of research it's a good question I had to do a lot of research and the book how do I feel that you have in front of you there has only got some of the emotions. So I've actually, um, when I before I started just now, I was feeling really nervous. And if you have a look in that book, nervousness isn't in there. So there's actually more than 200 emotions. So I'm probably going to be doing another book um, with some more emotions <laughs> because I couldn't quite fit them all in that book. As you see, it's quite a book, big book as it is. <laughs> so that's a bit of a secret that I'm working on number two. Um, which emotions do you feel most strongly? Oh, um, when I was a child, I actually felt anger a lot. I was quite an angry girl. And, um, but when I got older, I realized that anger actually covers up lots of other emotions. It's a way of protecting us. So um, a lot of the time I was actually quite anxious about things. And so instead of knowing what um, anxiety was, um, it just came out as anger. And that's why I wanted to make this book because then it helps all of the kids learn about all the different emotions, not just the main ones like anger and happy and sad. Yeah. But yes, I was, I did have anger a lot. I thankfully I don't feel that often now. <laughs> I feel a lot of joy, which is nice. How long have you been writing your Ooh. Ah. Uh, probably for a few years now but I wasn't much of a writer when I was young and I wasn't to be honest much of a reader either um, so it's kind of a surprise that I've landed where I am now today so you never know how life is going to turn out um, and I probably didn't think that I could have been a good writer when I was younger um, but yeah, you've got to believe in yourself. And I think when you have a passion and you want to share some ideas that you're really passionate about, that you can do anything. And a great way to share our ideas is through stories because it's 
something that humans have done forever is share um, our ideas and things from the past through stories. So I'm very lucky and privileged to be able to uh, do that now. What were your inspirations and motivations to become a writer? Um, yeah, just like what I was saying, just to share uh, my passion and um, share some of the knowledge that I learned. So when I was young, like I was saying, I was angry quite a lot. So it got me into a lot of trouble. Um, I got into a lot of fights and I was a bit naughty. Well, I wasn't naughty. I just didn't know how to express myself and my emotions in a healthy way. So when I got older, I actually learnt all these skills that help you. And so that's why I teamed up with Craig and we make the books that we do to help kids not get into trouble or feel as unhappy as I did when I was a kid. So um, it's that passion to try and share the things that I've learnt with kids so that maybe they have a happier time than I did yeah um, what is your favorite emotion and why oh <laughs> uh, I think now I love contentment and acceptance those are two emotions that um, when I feel content I'm really at peace and, and everything seems good in that moment. And it's a really, really nice feeling for me. And acceptance is a great emotion as well, because you know that life can get crazy and the world can seem a bit stressful at times. There's not a lot we can do. And so we just accept that things are how they are and um, be happy in that moment. Um, so there are two that I really like. How do you imagine people reading your book? Oh, um, so it's it's not sort of one of those story books that you sit down and um, read a story, obviously. Uh, but it is one that I think is really good if you um, have time to read a few emotions every now and then. And then also when you find that you've got a big emotion, um, you can flick through the book and maybe find out if the emotion that you think you're having is the one you're experiencing or is it something else? And um, so I think it's really good if you've got a big emotion to maybe use it to um, help you, help you through that emotion. Did you have a specific target group you were writing this book for? Mm, no, I, even though uh, it says that this book is for children, uh, I actually wanted to write it for everybody <laughs> because like me, I'm an adult now, but a lot of adults don't know what's in this book. And so I hoped that when mums and dads and grandparents or aunties, uncles, um, teachers, that when they're sharing the book with children, that they get to learn as well, because it wasn't something that we got to learn when we were little. Um, and there weren't books like this one. So I actually hope it's for everybody. Can you tell us more about the design of each page? We love how you describe how the, each emotion looks. Just one moment. Sorry, my little puppy's trying to get in the door. Um, so that was quite difficult. We were, when you design a book, um, because at Wildling Books, Craig and I and Laura, um, we make all the everything ourselves. So we design it and Craig illustrates it. Um, so uh, yeah, it started with me writing the emotions and then Craig, um, yeah, he started just sketching and uh, looking at how it might look. And we thought that each emotion needed a whole page. Um, 
and yeah just so that because it's important to see the illustrations right because some of the younger kids that uh, read the book maybe all the words and the text are a bit might be a bit confusing but they can look at the illustration and start to recognize oh I might be feeling that so we wanted both the illustration and the words to help um, help everyone identify how they're feeling. So yeah, I hope that answers that one. So many questions, wow, <laughs> this is great. Can I ask you kids, um, what's, what's an emotion that you might feel often? Can you share that with me? Nervous. Nervous? Uh, yeah, definitely me today. <laughs> oh. I'm joyful. Um, Nervous? Scared? Yeah, I'm probably angry a lot because I get angry a lot because I, when I'm trying to play on a trip by myself, my baby sister comes and I'm afraid of her and then she just keeps saying, I don't want to play that. I said, no, I was on the trip first. So, oh, so do you know, when you're saying that you're angry, that might be a little bit of frustration there where maybe you're frustrated, you want to jump on the tramp and she wants to jump on it too. And it yeah. sounds a little bit like you've got empathy there because you're worried about hurting your little sister, which is a lovely emotion. And it means that you've got a very caring heart. So well done. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I get hurt a lot from my brother, um, like hurting me. Oh, I wonder if he's doing that because he's not able to express himself properly. And maybe he's getting upset about something, but he can't get the words out. Sometimes it's having a bit of empathy for other people too, and trying to maybe ask him, why does he do that to you? Hmm. But that's still, that's not nice being hurt. So maybe talk to um, your parents or something about that. Yeah. So who's got another question? <laughs> right. How long did it take you to write this book? How, um, and how long did the publishing process take? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, this was a really big book, as you can see, and it probably took about six months to write because there was a lot of research that I had to do. Um, and not only that, also, uh, like I said before, I had to really feel each emotion as I was writing it. Um, and what was really interesting was that there isn't a lot of research or information about a lot of the emotions that we feel. Um, there was a lot of information about anger and sadness and those main ones that we learn about, but there wasn't actually a lot about other things, other emotions. So um, it took me quite a bit of time. Um, and then obviously it takes Craig a long time to do the illustration. So it was probably six months to write and illustrate. And then when you publish it, that's... Um, a process as well and so Laura's really fabulous and she um, lays out all the books ready for the printer and then the printers send us little like um, they're called proofs so we get to have a, a look at it first to see if it looks right and then obviously it takes quite a while for them to print a lot of books and we've actually printed nearly 40,000 copies of How Do I Feel Now? <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, the whole process probably about nine months, maybe. And that's actually quite quick, I think, because a lot of um, books take a lot longer than that. But we're what we're quite lucky because we're a, such a little close team that we get things done rather quickly. We don't have to have big meetings or wait for things. We um, we're pretty quick. 
and we get pretty passionate and we're all about it. Um, you can ask Craig because he's the same. We just, it's all, and we just love it and we just want to get it done and share it with the world. So we work pretty hard. Who is your favourite children's author and why? And also, who is your favourite adult author and why? Oh, so hard. You added an adult one. I haven't prepared for that. Um, okay. So my favourite um, book, when well, even now, I have to say, is Dr. Zeus's Oh, The Places You'll Go. <laughs> it's one of my favourite books. I absolutely love it. And I think it gets more special the older you get because you realize how much wisdom is in that book so go and have a read because it's a it's a pretty special book um adult author I do I missed that one um oh I'm not really sure Brene Brown is pretty amazing um and she actually does a lot of work similar um I had a lot of people saying that she bought a book out recently that I should read which is like an adult version of How Do I Feel? So I must go and get her latest book, but I do quite like her books as well. What are you reading right now? Uh, okay, I'll show you. And by a lovely New Zealand lady who's actually helped us with our books over the um, over the years, and that is Aroha. It's called Aroha by Dr. Hinema Elder, um, which is a pretty special book that I, just like How Do I Feel, it's a book that I flip in and out of, um, and I could just flip to a page and read a little bit, and it's nice. That's what I'm reading at the moment. Is that all the questions? No, one more. Did something happen that made you think about writing this book? Can you share with us? Um, there wasn't a specific... I think after I we finished making a book called Let It Go, which is about how emotions come and they go. So they don't stay with us. So when you're feeling angry, you, luckily we don't stay like that forever that they emotions will come and go they're kind of like you know the at the ocean where the waves come in and out um so after we finished writing that and that was just around four emotions and the emotions that again are like um uh fear and sadness more common ones it was that then i realized that wow there's so many emotions and probably lots of children and even lots of adults don't really know exactly what they feel a lot of the time. And it was something that I learned when I was in my 20s. Um, I had to learn about what I was really feeling. So um, that sort of sparked making this and we didn't realize what a big project it was going to be, but I'm so happy with it now. I'm very, very proud to have, you know, being able to make this book. That's all the questions. Good questions. <laughs> Thank you so much for having my book there um, in your library as well. It's really awesome. I can't quite believe it to be here <laughs> that I have a book all over the place. Mm. Um, is there anything else that you want to share? Um, just kids always, um, you know, you don't know what life's going to throw at you, um, but always believe in yourself. I just wanted to tell you that because I never, ever imagined I would write a book or be involved in making books. And there was a long time where I was very sad for a long time and uh, I just can't believe how happy I am now and that life can turn into something so amazing. So never give up hope and 
always believe in yourself. Some of the things that you think you couldn't ever do, you can do. So I just want to share that with you because I, I believe every single person has got the potential to do amazing things. So always believe in yourself. I just want to share that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.